Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Oh, we got some secrets to tell you. Two stories broke last week revealing that the U.S. government, specifically the National Security Agency, or NSA, have secretly instituted two programs that, at their basic levels, allow the government to monitor and gather U.S. cell phone and internet information in both domestic and foreign varieties. The information came to light when two documents were leaked. The first, which we covered here, was a court order that required Verizon to hand over all call data in their system on a daily basis. The second and slightly more frightening document revealed a program called PRISM, which, according to the Washington Post basically allows the NSA to kick open the saloon doors to the servers of the biggest internet entities where they can just start mining all of your information. We're talking Google, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, YouTube, oh, oh crap. crap, Skype, PalTalk, and Yahoo. And the type of information they're privy to, according to the Post, is staggering. We're talking photographs, audio and video chat, emails, connection logs, documents, and search terms. Oh, oh crap. crap. All these companies deny the unprecedented access detailed in these leaks, but everyone and their mother paying attention to this story are taking every quote and bit of information with a very skeptical grain of salt. So let's hear it straight from the source. The whistleblower revealed himself to The Guardian yesterday, explaining his motivation for releasing the document. His name is Edward Snowden, and he is a 29-year-old that worked as a contractor for the NSA for the past four years. Here are things that he said. I have no intention of hiding who I am because I know I have done nothing wrong. I don't want public attention because I don't want the story to be about me. I want it to be about what the U.S. government is doing. Other things he said include, I understand that I will be made to suffer for my actions. I will be satisfied if the Federation of Secret Law, Unequal Pardon, and Irresistible Executive Powers that rule the world that I love are revealed even for an instant. He assures that his actions, at least in his interpretation, are in no way acted out with mal intent against the United States. He wants the public to be enlightened to the actions taken against them, and as a result, he hopes public debate and discourse will ensue. And Edward was living the high life. He worked in Hawaii to the tune of $200,000 a year and lived in a house with a super hot, steady girlfriend, we're assuming. But he said, I'm willing to sacrifice all that because I can't in good conscience allow the U.S. government to destroy privacy, internet freedom, and basic liberties for people around the world with this massive surveillance machine they're secretly building. If Edward were one of those old X-Men trading cards, here would be his mini bio. Didn't graduate high school, nabbed a GED, joined Army in 2003, and started up with Special Forces training. Broke both legs, discharged, worked secretly for the NSA, then IT security for CIA, worked his way up because he was a computer baller, and after years with the CIA, became a contractor that eventually worked with the NSA until... Choo-choo! Whistleblowing. He's currently seeking refuge in Hong Kong, due to their commitment to free speech, and he believes it's an oasis that would push back against U.S. government pressure. But apparently, analysts are saying that that was a very, very ignorant choice. Ugh, sucks for him. And don't get it twisted, y'all. It's not just bewildered and not so bewildered Americans that are all up in arms over this information. The world is a little pissy. And I'm pretty sure an official German quote was, What the frick, America? America has responded, kind of, with the government claiming that the programs don't monitor U.S. citizens. Saying things like, Oh, come on, guys. Come on, it's not a big deal. Just calm down. Kind of a condescending. Way. And on that note of condescension, here's an Obama quote. If people can't trust not only the executive branch, but also don't trust Congress and don't trust federal judges to make sure that we're abiding by the Constitution with due process and rule of law, then we're going to have some problems here. So don't question your government, guys. Yeah, because Obama said so. And remember, yes, ensuring our safety is important, as is stopping the terrorists. But as I said before, you start relinquishing rights in the name of perceived governmental good intentions, and you'll soon be victimized by the KY-laden incline that is the slippery slope to Uncle Sam's double-sided dildo of totalitarian sex stuff. That was graphic yet poetic. Anyways, we've talked way too long about all this, so we'll leave you with this quote from Edward Snowman. <laughs> I carefully evaluated every single document I disclosed to ensure that each was legitimately in the public interest. There are all sorts of documents that would have made a big impact that I didn't turn over because harming people isn't my goal. Transparency is. So what do you guys think about this whole thing? Is transparency more important than our safety? And what do you guys think should happen to Edward Snowden? What do you think will happen? That's a good question. And hey, while you're down there, why don't you click that like button? It helps us out a lot. And if you want to subscribe to the channel because you're new, hey, first of all, welcome. And you get ready and buckle up because you're going to have an awesome time. Click this annotation for our five daily stories, that's right, we're really releasing content all the time like a freaking machine gun on YouTube. We're the YouTube's machine gun. <laughs> and I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Okay, this is good fun. Bye.